Hey folks, Mac and McGee here. Today, we're going to be getting some sweet corn picked and we're going to get over here and start shucking it down. One of the things that I want to show you in this is how we absolutely didn't have a corn worm problem. And did we spray our corn? No. Is it some kind of a crazy GMO corn that's so worm resistant? No, it's not. These guys that you see right back here are the reason that we don't have worms in the corn this year. And shucks, they love shucks. Hey, big daddy. Yes, sir. That's big, my daddy boar, my big daddy boar. He's a big one. Let's see how they like it. Here you go, boys. <laughs> they know they're getting fattened up for the pot. It won't be too long, there's gonna be some butchering going on, but until that point, they're gonna get all they wanna eat. And we've been feeding them a lot of corn, but at this point, it's time to use some garden scraps. So that's what they're getting. These ducks have multiplied ever since we got Rusty, our dog. There haven't been no coon and fox problems around here like there was before. So the main thing is, these ducks are never pinned up. They can come, they can go, they can fly. They love it right here around this garden. And they go in. They do not eat on our tomatoes like our chickens did. They don't uh, yank down the corn shucks and eat the corn off the cob like the geese did. They're just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And as you see here, not causing no trouble, not stressing out anybody, not loud, <laughs> boisterous, loud like a rooster. They're just awesome. Truly awesome birds to have around here. On my last garden video, several people asked, how do we keep the pests out? That's basically it right there. She does use neem oil and things like that for some things, but the ducks, the ducks have been a true benefit to our gardening. There's no doubt about it. And of course, as they're walking around, I'm sure they're pooping and fertilizing and stuff too. But we love them. We think they're awesome. I love waking up early in the morning, right at the crack of dawn, they all gather up <laughs> right over here in front of the house, have their little powwow, their meeting, talk about what's gonna happen during the day. Everybody gets their assignments and then they're off for the day doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, I really enjoy ducks. I'm a hunter. Duck hunting has always been ingrained into me and I've really enjoyed it. We, we do duck hunt still and hope to get more this year. These here, I'm probably gonna thin out a few of the drakes. I'm gonna let the females keep producing. But the drakes, they're a little overbearing on the females sometimes. So, we're probably gonna thin out a few drakes this fall. If ducks are something you can get I highly recommend getting them, letting them run loose. They're pretty smart. They can take care of themselves. If you're in a situation like this and you've got a lot of woods around, you're gonna have problems with coons, coyotes, foxes, the whole nine yards, everything's wanting to eat them. So have a good dog or two around and that'll help you a lot. That's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.